This is the Thomas Hoover capillary melting point apparatus. I will very quickly explain to you the different parts of this apparatus. There is the thermometer inside here and inside the machine there is a beaker containing oil. When you turn the machine on the oil gets heated and you will insert your capillary tube through these holes and the heated oil in turn transmits the heat to the compound. The compound will start to melt. You will view it through this lens here and note down the temperature range of the melting of this compound. What is the melting point range? You will note the temperature when you notice the first drop forming and then again note down the temperature when all of the compound has melted. How do we start heating? There is this dial which you use to heat the oil bath. You notice that it ranges, the number ranges from 0 to 10. It does not mean that it goes from 0 degrees to 10 degrees. It is related to the temperature in a particular fashion, but we cannot say that if you turn it on to 2, it will be 100 degrees. It, if you turn it on to 3, it will be 150 and so on. All we can do is adjust the dial and notice the rate at which the temperature is going up and pace our melting point temperature heating accordingly. There is also this dial which says stirrer. What does this stirrer do? This stirrer stirs the oil in the beaker so that the heating is uniform. Of course, we have the main power switch on. When I turn this on, you notice that the oil bath is lit and so anything that is in this oil bath will be nicely visible to the person who is determining the melting point. So, let us take the capillary, insert it through any of these holes. Notice that there are five holes here. So, I can determine the melting point of five samples side by side. That means at the same time. So, if you have four capillary tubes as is the case with your first part of the experiment, you have A, B, A plus B and unknown, then you can start inserting the first capillary through the first hole. Sometimes you may have to adjust so that the capillary tube goes inside properly because the holes may not be aligned and then in the second hole you can insert your second capillary in the third one, third and so on. Once you have inserted all the capillary tubes, turn the dial on, you can set the setting to somewhere between 2 and 3. Also turn the stirrer on, making sure that the oil bath is stirring and then keep observing through this eyepiece the capillary tube and the compound that is in that capillary tube. As soon as you see a drop of oil, as I mentioned before, note down the temperature on the thermometer and again when all of the compound is melted, you will note down the temperature also. Now, if the rate of heating is very slow, then you can increase the dial to between 3 and 4. And again, if one of the compounds has not melted and the rating is slow, we will increase it further. So, in other words, you will increase the setting gradually and not all at once. So, in this fashion, you will note down the melting point 
for all of your samples. Once you have finished determining the melting point for these four samples, turn the dial back to 0, turn the stirrer off, turn the power off, take out the capillary tubes and you notice when you take the capillary tube out of the hoover, it does not look melted anymore. Why is that? Of course, it is at room temperature and the melting point of solid is higher than the room temperature. So, as soon as it starts to cool, it solidifies again. Then dispose these capillary tubes in a beaker labeled used capillary tubes.